hello welcome back to the channel so this video is going to be kind of the one i previously mentioned we're just going to read some hyped up books and by that i mean ones that are really talked about people like or maybe authors that people really love and i'm just going to see if i feel personally on my scale if they pass the hype check so come along excited for all these recent reads an update on a corner from Moses Reed in the Hype Reads Books list. I have started <laughs> and kind of gone back and I'm enjoying this book. I may be eating this up and I'm not ashamed. It gives, I think it's supposed to be based off of a like Scottish story. Tamlin, hence the name of the main guy in this one. Um, but it also gives Beauty the Beast. I know that's controversy, but it does give Beauty and the Beast. Um, yeah, that's where we're at right now. <gasps> Just casually reading at the pool on my lunch break. And I think I've got to the parts where if you know, you know, and I'm... <gasps> this may... Are you... I literally, when I say I gasped, <laughs> I'm glad I'm at the pool alone because I gasped out loud. So, I finished this bad girl last night. Wow. What an ending. I mean, it felt like it ended in a way that could be a one shot if it had been like its own book, aside from some of the leftover things that we have to know, but also a cliffhanger of what we're saying so i don't know but i want to know so i'm gonna pick the next book so hype response on that is it. i would read the second book so it passed i also annotated it um i loved the aspect of some like beauty and the beast references in there it sort of references a scottish tale camlin is the main character in this and it's based kind of from that too which is really neat and i could see that in here as well but i did annotate my favorite little descriptive favorite yeah. descriptions where she's so artsy and an artist that i just felt related to that love the those descriptions beauty the beast references and inspo and i think i did romantic lines because i'm a romantic probably but um ah. okay so we jumped into Daisy Jones and the Six now for the next set of Pipe Dream books. I'm liking it so far. The old style, 80s, 70s, like rock band startup storyline. I like that it's kind of breaking in the different perspectives. Daisy's story and the Six's story. So, feeling good about it so far. Um, we'll see how it goes post guitar as well. So I'm about done with Daisy Jones in the six. It's taking me a little to get through it. I'm not gonna lie. I have like this much left of the book. I'm thinking it's not passing the hype check for me at least. I am enjoying it, the like 70s rock band story style to it. I just feel like I don't know how to explain it. There's something to the story flow and characters that I just am not hooking in with very well. And it's honestly makes me kind of sad because I'm just having a hard time. You got the zoomy? I'm having a hard time finishing it. And normally I'm like a page flipper reader, especially when I really like a book. And I can tell when I kind of don't if it takes me a lot longer, not on purpose. I don't find myself like coming back to read Daisy Jones and the Six and grab it again and again. I'm just kind of trying to get through it to make me sad. But oh, well, it's not bad, but I don't think it's passing the hype check for me to how everybody kind of talked a lot about it, recommended it, and now it's a TV show. I do see why it would be made into a show because the oral history style writing interview style gives a cool perspective of like the band and stuff during the 70s and feels like it's almost 
a real story of people's lives in this band. Um, but I just, it's not connecting with me. I'm going to see how I feel towards the end because sometimes these kinds of books hit you like at the end. But yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Okay. I just finished Daisy Jones and the Six. I feel like it had a good wrap up to the characters. I don't think it turned me around too much at the end. Um, as far as trying to get through, it was hard for me to get through this one. I don't think it passes the hype check officially <laughs> at the end, but I do see how it makes for a good interview oral history read type of story and why people would be super into it and how that made it into a series. I feel like the series would be cool to check out with everything. Um, but yeah, that's how I feel about this one. So I know that part of my hype reaction to books was only supposed to be for the first one when I was joining the hyped book review chain of Akatar. But lo and behold, I did not jump right to the Emily Henry book. I did indeed jump into this one. I've been involved in this one. Emily Henry's new other book has not been touched. Um, I'm ch chapter 52. I hear it even more uphill <laughs> from here, but um, yeah, we're, we have just joined this train 100% now. 100%. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so we're in about chapter 20 of this next Emily Henry book, and I can already say that I think it's going to pass the hype check. Uh, this is my second Emily Henry book. It doesn't surprise me that I am loving it and still joining the Emily Henry uh, because I love the beach read and I'm already really loving the story of Nora and her sister Libby and them going to like the small town and all the fun tropes, bookworm tropes inside of the tropes of the story because she works in publishing and she's like talking about the tropes of books and the many books she's edited and read and then having those tropes kind of occur in the story, which I love because Emily Henry's great at like writing in those tropes, but not overkill way. So, so far it's passing the bad chap. I'm excited to keep finishing it up. I think I'm going to run through it pretty quick. Um, maybe even <laughs> by the next time I film, but I'm loving it. Oh my gosh. Book Lovers was so good and it ended so well. And it doesn't surprise me with how Emily Henry writes her romance books. I loved that. It had an ending that felt like true to the characters and felt very like realistic to that not everyone has a specific happy ending right there's like different versions of what a happy ending looks like so good not surprised i loved another emily henry book so i will say it passed the hype check the final one for this video and i do think i will be reading even more emily henry which i'm not surprised that i figured i would but i just thought what be treated like a one shot that i just loved but I thoroughly enjoyed this one as well, so definitely check out Emily Henry if you haven't, but that was the last one on the Hype Check list. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I thought about these like hyped books. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about these particular authors or maybe the particular books, and I will love to see and hear about it because I like talking about books in general. So that's how I feel about most of them past the Hype Check. We had the one that I feel like didn't, but Overall, would read a lot of them again.